What is up guys? This is my new project. Bring you along with me as usual. This is a 2011 Piranha 140 and I bought it for kind of me but also for my girlfriend. I want her to learn how to ride it. And we'll both have pit bikes. So I got a decent price for it. Uh, or I got it for a decent price. But it needs more work than I had suspected. The front forks are messed up. They, uh, they don't rebound very well for some reason. It doesn't run quite right. I think it's just the carburetor on that because this guy says that it's low mileage. And the way he explained it, I basically believe him. Uh, the back brake isn't working. Don't know why. Other than that, I think the bearings are all good. I'm just going to have to take things apart and clean them up. Chain sprockets are going to go. Chain's definitely shot. And I already started taking it apart a little bit, so... There you have it. That's going to be the next project, so follow along. Here's where I'm at with the Piranha. I've got the rear wheel removed. The brakes are totally shot. I mean, this was the back brake. The guy told me they were fine, of course. They're... There's nothing there. There's no pad. Uh, the This is the front brake caliper. It seems to be okay. I cleaned it all up, wire wheeled it, oiled it, lubed it. Those are the pads off of that. So I need all new brake pads. I'm still figuring out what I got to buy there. Uh, this is a 16 tooth front sprocket, uh, 14 millimeter shaft. And I'm going to buy that and this clip. Uh, this is a 39 tooth sprocket. I can't find one that's this size. It's got a 76 millimeter inside diameter here. So what I'm going to do is order a 37. I found one of those available. So I'm going to get that on order. Both the front and rear rotors are warped. The rear is warped extremely bad. So two new rotors are going to be on order. I'm going to tear this down, inspect the bearings. Uh, it looks like they're probably going to need to be replaced as well. So bearings will be in order. Here's the bike. I cleaned the carburetor out completely. I did a complete tear down on it. Pilot was uh, plugged up. That's why it wasn't running very good. And it runs fine now. Air cleaner's installed there. We've just been cleaning stuff up. The front rotor is bent as well. So again, I think they're the same size, so I'll be ordering that. The forks, I need to get rebuild kits. I'm trying to figure out what kind of forks these are. And I might have to call somebody and ask them about it. Because I'm not sure. The front bearings seem okay, but I'll have to check. I'm probably going to have to replace them. Up here on the front, the clutch lever wasn't working very good. It's because it was bound up. So that's all freed up. Good to go. I got new grips on order already. I tore the handlebars off because they were clamped like all cockeyed like that and now you can see that the gaps here and here are basically the same um, on the front and back so uh, there see so the front here has got a nice space the back here has got a nice space same on there and then I just never see there are bolts that go through here to the bottom Never sees those. Clean them up in the wire wheel first. Reinstalled all that. Good to go. Throttle cable seems okay. I'm going to get some stainless hardware. Put that, you know, replace these two with stainless. Uh, any rusty bolts will be replaced with stainless. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. Don't have a solution. I'll let you know. But they're probably going to end up replaced some, some way or another. That's about it. Got to, I'm going to order a new chain. All sprockets, of course. And uh, I haven't dug into this back brake. It's not working at all. I might have to order the whole thing. We'll see. Kickstarter's in okay condition, but it's kind of weird. It looked like it might have had a rubber uh, pad on it or something, and that's gone. But the weird thing is there, you can see, it's not all the way up on the shaft. Nor can it be, because if it was it would hit the, see there, it would hit the case. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to look into that. I might order a new Kickstarter if I can find something 
that you know works a little bit better and plus it's it's all mashed up here I don't know why that is either I guess from boots rubbing on it so there you have it I'll keep you up to date so I've got the brakes off now the front brakes I think I talked about those earlier I'm gonna go ahead and reuse them I've uh, found the pads that I need I think they're the wheel bearings for both the front and rear wheels they were shot so I took them both out this is the rear master cylinder it's totally shot uh, whoever the guy who owned this didn't do any maintenance so I'm buying a new master cylinder I'm also buying a new caliper I could have repaired this this isn't really a bad caliper the thing is to repair it and get the pieces is actually more expensive than to just buy a whole new one so I'm just buying a new one um, what else we got going on here here's the bike I've been replacing hardware I'm trying to do away with these screws I don't like Phillips heads I think they're probably the worst design screw in the world so I've been slowly replacing this stuff with stainless steel uh, this stuff here I put new bolts in here to hold the uh, rear tail frame thing and over here over here the guy someone put a stack of washers about that thick with a nut all the way back here and a bolt that was this long to hold this arm on so I just got the proper screw and put it in I think I'll be able to reuse this cable it looks fine it needs cleaned up I'm gonna stick with the Kickstarter for now because they're expensive and I don't want to mess with it and there's the front wheels the wheel bearings out they were very difficult to get out so let me explain how I did it right quick you what I did is I took a tor well I pre-soaked it with a uh, penetrating oil and I used Croil K-R-O-I-L you can get it from McMaster Car and other places and I soaked it for a couple hours then I came down with a tor uh, I took a torch heated up just the aluminum as much as I could flipped it over I then hammered it out with a punch and I did that for both wheels it takes it took some time I mean it was a matter of patience but so I'm getting these cleaned up these tires seem okay and I guess that's it for now I'll update you when I learn more see you guys